president of France was here, right at this microphone, delivering his own brand of socialism. It's new and improved. We've all seen the inefficiencies of socialism play out in Europe over the decades and the horrors of national socialism. But the French president has a new brand of socialism that we're all supposed to be enamored with. I would call it global socialism, maybe even global corporate socialism. I hope none of my colleagues were seduced by his ideas. Ironically, they're motivated by fear, an irrational fear of the carbon dioxide molecule. Carbon dioxide is a necessary ingredient for all life on this planet. So, for instance, it's, let me give you the equation for photosynthesis. Basically, plants take six CO2 molecules and react them with six water molecules in the presence of sunlight to create one sugar molecule and six oxygen molecules. Take CO2 off this planet and what happens? Nearly everything dies and we die. So I think it's very interesting that this new socialism has a twist to it, this global socialism, and that is it's motivated by an irrational fear of one of the two chemical compounds that form the basis of our food chain. Very ironic. It's also motivated by something else that the Europeans have had a pension for, for, for centuries. that's bankrupted nearly every country over there. And that's a penchant for war, for interventionism. They've all, nearly all of them at one point or time have sought to build an empire. And so the president of France was over here saying that we should also be interventionists, that we need to get involved in the Middle East more, that we need to be involved in all of the countries. I reject this. I would urge my colleagues to stick with the plan we've got, stick with the policy, stick that we've had since the beginning of this country, stick with the Constitution, stick with capitalism, stick with the idea that if you build something, you own it, and reject European socialism. Thank you, and I yield back the balance of my time.